welcome to Sogden Road for Surbiton versus Hampstead and Westminster. Joined again, thankfully, this week <laughs> by Darcy Bourne. Uh, the girls are just going through the last preparations. Final words in the huddles before we get started. Uh, how are you, Darcy? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Nice Might to be back on the sideline. Yeah, uh, much nicer weather. More warmer than it was the last few weeks. More warmer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> warmer, yeah. It was freezing really? the last time, yeah. Mm. Horrible. And I was on my own. I did listen to a little bit. Oh, I, I don't think it was my best performance. That no, was a good chat. <laughs> Especially about um, Kia cars as well. I didn't hear that part. Oh, no. yeah. I, some uh, constructive feedback was that I need to learn how to pronounce the uh, Christian names of most of the players. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. I well, luckily for us, I think we should know personally most of the players on the pitch today. Yeah, that's true. I used to live in in and around Hampstead, so it's a lot of familiar faces for me. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the GB players as well, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Big line-up so, today. I think it's yeah. also important to note that we've got Amber Walton in goal because Sabi, unfortunately, has sustained a knee injury. Yeah. But she specifically asked for a shout-out because she is watching the live stream. Oh, there we go. Her Hi, Sabi. Her and her dog. Well, Flora's dog. Yeah. Oh, Morris. What Morris. a legend. <laughs> yeah. Right. Slightly behind schedule, I think, but we uh, will be pushing back in a few moments. We'll go through the lineups for you in a second as well. In fact, we can do that maybe while we wait. So, for Hampstead, we've got Miriam Pritchard, number one. Number five, Olivia Hamilton. Eight, Phoebe Willars. Ten, Kat Baker, the captain. Eleven, Sarah Robertson. Twelve, Lily Owsley. Fourteen, Sophia Martin. Sixteen, Pippa Lewis. Seventeen, Maddie Ratcliffe. 20, Melanie Wilkinson. 21, Rachel Greenwood. 22, Joey Lee. 24, Holly Hunt. 29, Esme Burge. 30, Lauren Hunt. 31, Iona Campbell. And we're off. I could have timed that a bit better. Potentially. Yeah. Hey, hey. Interesting start to go straight for the aerial there. Um, Sarah Robertson played the aerial, but it was intercepted by Eloise Stenner. I tell you what, this is revolutionary being able to hear you in the <laughs> headphones as well. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, I've just been told there's apparently a few camera issues. We'll uh, try and resolve those for you as soon as possible. Maybe we need to get the live stream up to see any comments as well from mm. people. That's a good idea. Give some instant feedback. I know we have many listeners, so uh, shout out to all of you. <laughs> Jill Sanders again. She said specifically not to shout her out, but... Oh, really? Yeah, I thought I'd go for it. Interesting. Yeah, a nice little feisty start from Hampstead to begin with. We've got another weekend of two siblings on opposite teams today. We've got Sophie Hamilton and Liv Hamilton. Yeah. The hockey twins. <laughs> yeah. Sophie on the ball now, the right-hand side, cutting inside and passing it to Hannah, to Izzy Petter. Oh, wow, yeah. They won a short corner. Great work from Serbiton already. Good from Izzy. They'll and be Hannah. happy with this start, a sh short corner so early in the game. Yeah, let me quickly go through the Serbiton lineup as well as we've got time stopped. Uh, number two, Giselle Ansley. Seven, Sarah Evans. Nine, Meg Dalthwaite. Ten, Hannah French. Eleven, Holly Payne. 12, Sophie Hamilton, 13, Eloise Stenner, 14, Steph Elliott, the captain, 15, Martha Taylor, 17, Leo Wilkinson, 18, Izzy Petter, 19, Katie Curtis, 20, Amy Costello, 28, Eleni Sherwood, and in goal, number 30, Amber Walton. That was better timing, that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just always learning. We've got the live stream up on um, beside us now, so if anyone has any questions or comments, feel free to to ask them in the in the oh, comment section. This is like we've been doing it for ages. <laughs> Final preparations. And we're off. Here we go. What's the call? Straight flick? Straight flick, surely. Cost Costello? She's scored quite a few, hasn't she? Ball to Costello. Oh, well run down. Very well run down by... Oh, very good. Lily, is it? Yeah, Lily Owsley. Yeah. A bobbly pass to Sarah Robertson and Holly Hunt is getting up the pitch. Will they make a connection? Well, Sarah back. Is still carrying with the ball. Good defence from Serbton though. Well Ooh. back. 
Oh, good hands. Putting them both on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Snapping both our ankles. Oh, and a Megs. Well done, Martha. <laughs> and another one. Unbelievable, Jeff. That might be my moment of the game. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Right. Yeah, very good uh, defensive recovery from Surbiton there. Hampstead were on a good counter-attack. Oh, unfortunate from Sharpie there. Apologies if it's a bit windy. Um, I think the, the microphones might be catching the wind a little bit. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Is he better driving again? Oh, ball across there. Hannah couldn't make the connection. Oh. We've got a defensive touch apparently then from Hampstead. Service and sideline ball. Oh. oh. Interesting. Hannah kept going, but the rest of the pitch seemed to stop. Yeah, but and Serbiton with a long corner there. Hampstead not happy. Giselle. Giselle with the Robbie Fowler um, nose strip. <laughs> she, she broke her nose a few weeks ago, apparently. And yeah, she broke it a few weeks ago, but I think you have to wait a couple of weeks to get your, your nose job. Oh, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I had that a few years ago. Luckily, got my surgery the day before lockdown. Oh, uh, jammy. Mm. Oh, good timing, rather. Oh, Sharpie, unfortunately, there. Holly Hunt winning the ball. Ooh. An agricultural tackle there from Hamilton, but Hampstead come away with it. Ball down to Sophia in the corner. She's definitely an upcoming youngster. She's not that young, but <laughs> one of the younger players on the pitch, and she's Ooh. definitely a name to look out for. <sighs> Missed pass there. Some, yeah, uh, game's building, I believe. That's a nice little relaxed recovery of the ball there. A little with the ball. Yeah, central to CDM almost here. See how we go. Good skills. skills. Dr. Payne giving chase. Both two very fast players, Holly Payne and Lily Owsley. Yeah, unfortunately, Phoebe couldn't make the connection there. Phoebe Willars, that is. ex Urbiton player, right? Is she? Mm. Oh, didn't realise. She's Beeston, wasn't she? But like she a was long, definitely long at Urbiton when I started um, training with the ladies. Uh -huh. I, was, I thought the Willars clan were big Beestonites. Oh, it's come all the way through, but still in. Oh. Well kept alive. Oh, high ball there, surely. But no, a corner. Eloise is pointing right at her knee. Yeah. And so is the secondary umpire. But oh, yeah, that, I could see that from here. That was very high into Eloise's knee. But I'd bring it upstairs if that was an option. Yeah. Wouldn't we all? Unfortunately, <laughs> no VAR. Gosh, two corners and both teams have forgotten their PCD bags. So you can see big man Baker running them on. <laughs> <laughs> His gamely shout out. <laughs> yeah. Just influential. I was speaking to him pre-game about the, um, let's say, the difficulties they had upon returning from their uh, mm. European <laughs> victory. The flight apparently was, um, yeah, a challenge. I think there was an assumption that everyone was on the same flight and they were not. I think it was more how their heads were feeling. Mm. But yeah. So let's see what Hamza can do with their corner. Oh, slip and slide, but a good save from Amber. I almost think that slip gave her a bit more power on the ball. Yeah, I could well have done. <laughs> It's quite a nice flick. Mm. Oh. It's a nice ball in from Liv, but didn't quite make the connection with any of her forwards. She's definitely a very big distributor for Hampstead. Got a nice set of hands on her. Mm. Good ball through to Sharpie, but she's immediately surrounded. Her control in those tight areas is really impressive. Oh. Good impression of Harry Houdini there. Oh. Ooh. Nice idea from Giselle, but... Serbiton going for some route one. It looks one. like Hampstead have forgotten their PCD kit. Completely. Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, 
They had some, did they? But was that because... No, it's a Surbiton kit. Oh, wow. This happened uh, last half of the season with Hampstead and EG, and Hampstead refused to shed their kit with EG. Oh, that so is... So they should be grateful for us, I reckon. Mm. Mm. The Great. class of shit Surbiton showing through again. <laughs> Quite a big turnout today at Sugden Road. Yeah, in preparation, we've got a big game with the men's first team against Wimbledon first team as well. Big day uh, later. And yeah. the ladies twos are playing after us. Ah, that's what's in between. Yeah, great. I wondered why there was a large gap. Mm. I think all the women's teams are playing at two today and all the men's teams yeah. are playing at six. Yeah. Final game of phase three. Um, but yeah, this is quite a big game for the, for the women's side of things. But both teams through to the finals, aren't they? Um, yeah. So, obviously, practice, really. yeah, pride and rivalries oh. at stake. Strong play from Lily there. Oh, no. Oh. I have to say that was really good hockey from Hampstead, right from their build-up. Yeah, the very good. The play. Polly Hunt managed to put that away. Um, she'll be very happy with herself, but she's running off for a quick substitution. Yeah, great work from uh, Lily. Strong play, but... Definite miscommunication between Amber and Eloise there, unfortunately. Hampstead, one nil up. Big powerful throw from the ball girl. <laughs> Yeah, big up the ball patrol again. Big thanks to them. Let's see what Serbikin can do, can do in response to going behind. Very oh, nice work. cut in from Sophie. Yeah. Oh, and good through ball. Oh, unfortunate. Holly couldn't pick that up. You'd think Serbiton might have a few tired legs actually after four games in four days. Yeah, definitely. I think not even just that. I think the the adrenaline and the jubilation of winning. Absolutely. Um, probably. Maybe I heard still. I that lingering. it might have been the first time in in 20 years that an English team's come home with a cup in a Euro European tournament. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not. I think Serbiton's European um, record is not particularly positive. Well done from Meg there. It's definitely a good momentum to have in the build up to the finals weekend. Yeah. I wonder what that means as well in terms of uh, places in next year's EHL. Well, hopefully they'll be working towards a bit more gender equality mm. and giving women more teams in the EHL. Hopefully. It's definitely something I'm going to be pushing for. Yeah, good. There's rumours that I think the men now have three, there three is, teams. It's been confirmed. Confirmed, yeah. yeah. What a catch. <laughs> uh, goalkeeper reflexes. Um, oh, dear. Here we go. <laughs> Liv's laughing at herself for that <laughs> little mistake. Carlos Alcaraz style. The best way to respond to mistakes, just smile and move on. Sophie Hamilton screaming for the ball in acres of space here. First time. Oh, well done, Amy. Send her off. Down the right side. Here she goes. Oh, unfortunately, couldn't make it happen. It's quite hard to move against that sort of, um, those wind speeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of pressure there in the press from Hampstead onto Steph Elliott in centre mid. Yeah, really closing uh, the play down. Good hand from Crofty, Sarah Evans. <laughs> I didn't first comment there. <laughs> so, oh, well intercepted there. Number 20, was it? Yeah, Mel, Mel Wilk Wilkinson. Well read from Costello's ball. Sharpie picked the ball. It's li oh, Mel nice Wilkinson, idea. not related to Leah Wilkinson. No. <laughs> Good point. Hampstead definitely more dominant in these opening stages. Like you said, very good in the press. That was a packet of Haribo yeah. flying across the pitch. Probably Baker. Yeah, big man Baker <laughs> not doing his job well there. 
I wonder if the ball girl will get it. Well played from Hannah there. But again, four four Hampstead players around her in defence. Yeah, I think we need to find a way to, if there's so many numbers around the ball, there's got to be space elsewhere. Yeah. Find time to get in and out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, great ball from Sarah Evans. Izzy Petter. Oh, oh what a lovely a goal. goal. Yes. Hannah with the final touch, but Izzy with a fantastic cross in after a reverse um, receive at the top of the D. That was lovely. Nice. Commentator's curse for Hampstead there. As <laughs> I just said, they were very dominant. Maybe we should do it more often. <laughs> so, one all. Surbiton Hampstead. Just over five to go, I believe. Robbo with the restart. Oh, I chose against the uh, aerial there this time. We've got Maddie Radcliffe on the ball, just giving it off to Iona now. Iona um, Campbell's been scoring a lot of goals for Hampstead, apparently. Oh, Maddie has. Oh, apologies, Iona. <laughs> Maybe we should stick with the uh, Colin Pike stats. Yeah, it's quite hard to see because our papers are blowing away in this hurricane right now. <laughs> yeah, Maddie Radcliffe got the uh, goal, the only goal for Hampstead in the last game uh, in October, back in October. Three-one was the final score to Surbiton. Nice. With. Sophie Hamilton and Hannah French getting two. Is that a Hampstead away? That was Surbiton at home. Oh. Yeah. Again, good pressure from Hampstead. Giselle going Very to the nice aerial, aerial route. Good Great receive. take Katie from Katie Curtis. Curtis. Arguably, I say that defender wasn't really five. Yeah, maybe but I'm being biased. <laughs> Curtis's touch was very far in front of her, wasn't it though? Mm. Like into her space. So I think Giselle might have been overestimating Katie's height. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good take from Katie. Yeah. Sharpie hustling. All crossing there, surely. Ignored by the umpire. Long corner. Dave Beckett gesticulating furiously on the sideline about the crossing as well. Oh, wow. Oh, awkward ball for Amber. That was impressive for the Hampstead to get the shot away just with two touches there. Yeah. On a bobbling ball. Very good. Holly Hunt spinning <laughs> to win there. Ball across or oh, through a crowd of players, but Sharpie comes away with the ball. Intercepted by Phoebe there. Oh, unfortunately, I think it was for the other Hampstead player down the right hand. Sophia, is it? Sophia Martin. Yeah. Excellent. I believe you've got the, we've got the main camera back on, so welcome back. Apologies if you didn't have it. Oh, good ball in. Well left by Amber. Ball. I feel Amber might need to settle down a little bit in this into this game. She dealt well with some tricky challenges, but Hampstead applying the pressure. Good composure oh, there from Serbiton there. See you later, says Sarah. <laughs> it is nice hockey, though, from both teams. Both teams, yeah. It is a good game so far. Oh, a bit of football. Yeah, picked up by the umpire. Meg Douth with the quick ball into the D. Oh, unfortunate there from Sophie. Just two minutes left this first quarter and it is still 1-1. Ooh. Ooh. Well, you've always got to have your wits about you on the side. Another potential beheading. <laughs> <laughs> this chat again. Terrible. Apologies, everyone. <laughs> You'll get messages for your brother again, won't you? Mm, if he's watching. He better be. 
all through. Wilkinson down in the bottom corner and a long corner. Yep. Well defended by Katie Curtis, keeping it away from dangerous areas. Oh, the topper, but off the back line, away from any danger. Costello to restart. The aerial route. Yeah, well done. Hamilton, quick ball. Great pace. Oh, lovely hands as well. Sending KT through. No, very good nice well tackle. bump there. Could have set Katie off Curtis away then. Over to Lily Alzi. Could have set Katie off Curtis away then. Over to Lily Alzi on the right hand side. It's a nice transfer while still moving forward from Hampstead. Oh, well done. Leah there breaking the play down, but we've got two in the D. I have to say, Leah is very good at breaking the play down. <laughs> We've talked about her skills before, haven't we? Mm. Might have to re remove my commentary coat. It's I'm quite warm. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame we've not got the sun in, in the commentary box. Yeah. Here we go. End of quarter one, one all. Join us again in a couple of minutes. One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. Allying the troops, Q2 about to begin now. Oh, again, good skills. Ooh. Ham Hampstead trying to gain a few yards there. But a great play from Sophia. Martin. Martin, there we go. I need to learn some names. I think I won't be criticised for the uh, mispronunciation of Christian names this time. There's no, not, not really any sure. two tricky ones. I think you did well. Yeah. yeah. Th th there's some easy names here, I think. In comparison to well, we don't know yet, do Kia we? Murray. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Murray again. Quickly taken, there we go. Izzy Petter completely unmarked. Great lead. Oh. Ball through. Oh, the oh. back stick, unfortunately, from Hannah. That's quite Probably. harsh umpiring. Oh, I mean, <laughs> could have looked like it, to be fair. Potentially. Really good opportunity. And it's nice seeing um, Petter getting those really good attacking, dangerous positions. Yeah, stretching the play. Surely a whistle here now. No, nope, play on. Oh, Martha. Again, play on. Oof. Ooh. Oh, goodness. And the Hamster are enjoying this backhand into the D. And. Still two balls on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Umpire to the rescue. Look at his speed. 
Well done, Warburton. Not only does he bake brilliant bread, he clears the pitch of hockey balls. That is awful, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be said. I'm not a big fan of those muffins, actually, the English muffins. You know the Warburton ones? Not specifically, but all muffins are great. English I had muffins. two. I had two this morning with, with some streaky bacon and poached mm. eggs. They're a bit dry for me. Yeah, you need lots of butter, that's why. Mm. <laughs> We're being criticised for our chat. Apologies, everyone. Well, it, I mean, let's see. Let's ask the masses. Do they enjoy... Um, uh, what's the Mary Berry? Mary Berry. Um, Bay, British Bake, Bake Off. Off. Bake Off chat or... I actually met Mary Berry. Oh, legend. Mm. Two legends together. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone has any questions or wants a shout out, please comment on the live stream and we will make sure to mention you. Yeah, it's absolutely popping off right now, isn't it? With yeah, loads of viewers. 25 viewers. <laughs> Welcome to all of you. We love you all. Hampstead again down the right-hand side. Mel Wilkinson with the ball. Held up by Eloise. Robbo now twisting and turning with Giselle. 3D skills into the D. Oh, good that's ball. That's nice potentially, oh, good save from Amber. Could have been called a corner, but play on. On the back end. Oh, I think. Yeah. Dangerous towards. Oh, it was outside. Oh, yeah. Dangerous towards. Oh, it was outside. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Just a Hampstead player taking evasive action. Service and let off there again. Hampstead applying the pressure. I'm sure, yeah, we need to give a big shout out to uh, the Service and under 14s as well, who are victorious in the, the junior EHL as well. Yeah, oh, what that's a touch. Huge from them. Yeah, sorry to interrupt there. That was a great touch through. Oh, and good inception from Eloise. Just got a notification from Sabi Hesh. Sabi Hesh, so her knee resting up. Oh, it's a lovely one touch ball. Well defended by Eloise foot. Stenner. Yeah, foot out. Resting up. Oh, it's a lovely one touch ball. Well defended by Eloise foot. Stenner. Yeah, foot outside. Robbo complaining. Robbo she is Sarah Robertson, by the way. Sorry, yeah, Sarah <laughs> Robertson. She had the ball on a stick in the D, though. Another tip. Oh, and away from danger. I think Southampton um, have done well to get lots of numbers in the defensive D, probably before Hampstead have got their attacking numbers in there. Yeah, definitely. Number 16, Pippa Lewis, was the one with the lovely touch in the middle of the pitch. With the ball now, through ball, but cut out by Giselle Ansley. Hampstead pressing hard and intercepting lots. Hamilton with the ball to Hannah, down to Izzy. Again, that connection between nice Hannah and Izzy has been great today. Into the D. And the corner. Short corner. Excellent work. Very nice. Big Baker. No, he's just pointing. He's not going to run the PCD down for them. He's taking his layers off ready for all that running. Yeah. <laughs> have to stop time, I think, as well, because to get all the kit down to them. Oh, it appears as though we, they have got some kit. Ah, uh, but not it's masks. Just the masks. Right. Kind of key that. Hmm. Protect the money makers. <laughs> uh, so yeah going just quickly as we've got a stoppage back to the under 14s yeah fantastic play mm. shout out to Izzy Melbourne uh, goalkeeper who uh, comes religiously to our Wednesday night training at Surbiton our goalkeeper academy apparently according to Frankie Bryant played some made some unbelievable saves yeah um, I think it's so impressive they've been in Europe EHL for a few years now. They've mm. just been working their way up. Yeah. So they should be really proud of themselves. There are numerous other teams as well playing friendlies and all the girls did amazingly well and boys. And we're back. Oh, breaking early at the halfway line. Yep, there we go. Giselle with a flick. Oh, and in through nice the postie. Excellent. It's really great to see seeing both Amy and Giselle scoring from directs at this part of the season. Yeah, it's tough for the opposition. Not sure which who's which player it's going to go to and mm -hmm. who's going to take it and what they're going to do I know the girls have been saying they've got a lot of variations but just adds to the threat doesn't it yeah absolutely nearly a great touch from Holly Hunt there 
So 2-1 Surbiton. Just over 10 left in this first half. Phoebe Willow has come to left half now. Yeah, positional changes. Serbiton with a half court press at the moment now. Mm. It's good to try out a few different tactics, especially in this last game before it all really, really matters. Definitely, yeah. Not that this doesn't matter. No. Nice little transfer around the back there from, oh, well done from Pippa Lewis though. Hamilton well twisting and turning. Lily Owsley with the ball, driving straight into the D. Oh, and Holly unlucky to mistrap that. Direct play there from Hampstead. Ball down the sideline, just intercepted by Phoebe, but Sharpie has got it back. Bit of a battle there on the sideline. Ball down the sideline, just intercepted by Phoebe, but Sharpie has got it back. Bit of a battle there on the sideline. Uh, my <laughs> another statistician or knowledge update. I think this refers to Phoebe Willars. Yeah, Beeston, Surbiton, and Repton. Yeah, she played everywhere. Yeah, and Reading have gone one ahead versus EG. Apparently, spoiler alert. That's a very big game. That's yeah. um, they decided to get to the finals weekend. Ooh, Lily again driving through. Doctor Payne making a nuisance <laughs> of herself. Oh. Quite early green for card. a card. Green card for Dr. Payne. Yeah. It's interesting. Often the umpires don't hand out cards until the latter stages of the game. Yeah. Red card. We were just hearing conversations year, about. It? Yeah. Mac, uh, Tom. Tom. Tom Grambush. Oh, I was thinking about when we when we got a red card. Oh, years ago <laughs> yeah, NHL. yeah. Let's not bring that up. That was unfortunate. No, uh, Tom yeah. Grambush. Yeah, he was a very angry man in the in the previous. No, I believe it was a traffic light. Tony, he got a green upgraded to a yellow, and then the red as he's walking off, effing and blinding at the umpires. Completely unnecessary. His behaviour as well was quite poor in the previous game that we had. Um, Del Forge and Alison Keogh, I think, umpiring. Mm. The semi-final of uh, men's EHL was awesome. Um, but, yeah. That's a shame. Mi mixed opinions, I know, from conversation I was having before. Um, some of the male players, though, just unnecessary in their responses. Yeah, it's not stuff you like to see in hockey. No. And the, those two umpires Ooh. are fabulous, fabulous umpires. <laughs> See Holly Hunt jumping in the air and screaming in frustration there. Yeah, unfortunately did hit her foot there. Screaming with a smile on her face. Yeah. Not red card worthy. The Hampstead uh, supporters next to us vehemently disagreeing. I think it's Holly Hunt's parents, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently we may have some uh, picture issues with the stream and the sound as well. So I hope we don't give too much away ahead of time if we are ahead. We can try and <laughs> speak after it happens, a little delay. It's quite difficult, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You just have to watch with your eyes closed like a podcast or something. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Flashed across and no... Sarah Robson no really showing there. off her power there on that hit. Yeah. The GB gym work, <laughs> paying dividends. She takes her time in the gym. <laughs> I think she's our team's top faffer, actually. <laughs> Just above me. Oh. oh. Another bit of football there. <laughs> Lily is a big uh, football fan, isn't she? She is. She loves football. Yeah. Bristol City, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, 
terrible choice. <laughs> but obviously coming from those ends, that's fair enough. Good loyalty to the local team. Oh, well read from Sarah Evans, but yeah, a bit of a foul from Steph Elliott in the build-up. Umpire not happy with the where the ball was taken from. Oh, Hamza loving the flashing the ball across yeah, the D there, yeah. It's definitely um, creating some dangerous opportunities mm. and something our defence needs to be aware of. Yeah. Any little touches and that that's a goal. Serbton probably need to look to get more pressure on the ball outside the D. Yeah. Oh dear me, Amy with lost court in possession. Ooh. Oh, but a slip sees Mel Wil Wilkinson blaze the ball over the bar. A let off there. I think Serbson will be quite relieved at the outcome of that opportunity. Definitely. Had a few people slip over around the top of the D actually. Mm. Good recovery there from Steph Elliott. We've got still 1-0 at half-time, Reading, EG. It's quite a big attacking opportunity for oh. Hampstead. Flicked it right into Sophie's knee or thigh. Either way, it looked quite painful, but she's running it off. Robbo with the apology. Very good receive from Alice Sharp, one-handed above her head. Oh, and a lovely ball down to Hannah French. Meg Dalthwaite driving into the D. Hands from Hannah, but oh, great tackle, but looks like she's hurt herself there. Goalkeeper to the rescue, Miriam Pritchard. Roger. Uh, Jill Sanders says hello. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the whole live stream heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Umpires making them take that again because the whistle to restart the game hadn't happened. I think Liv will be a bit annoyed because that was quite a big aerial from her. Now the game has restarted and Hampstead are uh, outletting the ball. It's a lovely ball from Liv, but intercepts by Leah Wilkinson. Okay, Kate's two around her, but well dealt with. Oh, the little scoop. Oh, yes, yeah, Serbiton back to uh, back to the full complement again. Dr. Payne back on. Yeah. Giselle barking orders <laughs> again. <laughs> nice play from Phoebe Willars. Oh, nice little one-two, but cut out by Amy Costello. Lovely interception. Yeah. Sharpie well retaining possession. Dr. Payne down the left. I wonder if she enjoys us calling her Dr. Payne. Or I mean, it is her title. <laughs> she probably doesn't know. No. Oh, Sharpie, great hands there. Ball into the D. Oh! Serbiton with a coming together there, unfortunately. I think if the Hampshire defender's on the floor, it should be a short corner. The umpire was probably a bit like that Spider-Man meme with Hannah and Meg there. <laughs> <laughs> Another great ball through the straight through the middle to Holly Hunt. Picking the ball up there, unfortunately can't find the connection. We've got just under three minutes left in the first half and Serbton are 2-1 up against Hampstead. Very close game, very yeah. fast-paced game. Really tight, lots of uh, opportunities for both teams. It's been quite enjoyable to watch. Mm. A 
again. Crofty doing so well. Uh, Spoke too soon. <laughs> Oh, again, it's that final ball at the moment in these last few minutes for Hampstead, just not finding that connection, unfortunately. Fortunately for Surbiton. Lots of big Ooh. aerials today. Quite a few looking like they're aiming at the officials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Free hit for Surbiton there, even though I believe the ball was off from Izzy Petter, but must have been Love given for five. Oh, on ball. Wow. ball through. <laughs> Off the new, and, and onto the leg. Corner. Goodness gracious, it's wow. As Warburton. What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> That's hit ball? her in the in the shin, but a corner was given against Eloise's knee there, down the other end. He did a little umpire signal, but apparently neither of us know the rules of hockey enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stick block. I'm not sure. It's a tricky rule. Holly Hunt driving again. <sighs> Good skills from Holly Hunt there. Giselle the with the tackle book caught, getting I caught, think. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, stick tackle, isn't it? Didn't sound or look too good. No. Hampstead with the opportunity to equalise just before half time. Time stopped for the PCD again. What are your score predictions for the game then, Mark? I know we're halfway through. We should have done this at the beginning. But yeah, that's a good, good point. It's going to be close. I don't think it's going to be much more than one goal in it. Mm. Um, I think there are more goals in this game, though. So I think so, especially the amount of shots and corners that we've had so far. Yeah. 3-2. Three 3-2, two. Three two, Serbi. Beeston are 2-1 up against Iska currently in the fight to avoid relegation. Ooh. Big game up at um, Nottingham Hockey Centre. So here we go. Save from Amber into Lily's leg there by the look of it. But ah, and a oh, corner given. He's turned it over. I think they rewarded it because it came on. Maybe her. Cynically, maybe some acting skills, but <laughs> it did look like it was a bit high, to be fair, given that the flick was high. Cynically, maybe some acting skills, but <laughs> it did look like it was a bit high, to be fair, given that the flick was high. And we're off again. Oh, great trap from Amy Costello there in the middle of the pitch. Cleared away by Leah Wilkinson. That's the third corner where Hampstead have had a direct flip from Maddie Ratcliffe. Radcliffe. <laughs> Radcliffe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but stopped by Amy Costello in the middle of the D there. So. Good bravery. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. I think you might be reaching for a card for that one. That's a green card for, for Hampstead. Li Lily Owsley, yeah. I think Serbson can really maximise this time with a down a player and one of their strongest players arguably. But there goes the half time whistle unfortunately. Right to Surbiton 2-1 at the end of the first half. Join us again for the second half. One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance. 
or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno.
One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance. Or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno. Again. Yeah, yeah, do it. Welcome back to Sugden Road for the second half of Surbiton versus Hampstead West and Westminster. <laughs> Surbiton get us underway. Three Surbiton early are touches. Um, two one up as the start of this half, and I think they're a player up as well because Lily Alves got a card right at the end of the first half of the second quarter. Well remembered, yeah. Just a green card though, so she'll only be off for another minute and a half probably. Could attack an opportunity up the right-hand side with Alice Sharp, but she's been told to take it back from, from where the foul happened. Ooh. <laughs> Surbiton trying some of the um, same tactics as Hampstead earlier in the first half. They're crossing it in. Yeah. And hoping for the best. Yeah. Some coaches like that, some coaches don't, but... I do think it creates opportunities if there's a bit of variation. Yeah, definitely. Not not every ball. Mm -hmm. Although Eloise has gone for a second and two balls, but cut out by Hampstead. 
Eloise definitely has the versatility though. When she drives down the baseline, she's so attacking, but she also does deliver some really good crosses in that we we score off quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, nice. Oh wow! Straight route one ball straight through to Sarah Robertson. Giselle and Leah in chase. It's a one v two and cleared, cleared pretty easily by Amber. Yeah. So Sarah didn't get hold of that shot, did she? Don't know if she was trying to go top bends. Maybe, oh, just maybe even, not. <laughs> yeah. It sort of looked like she topped it a little bit, maybe. Leah mopping up again to Izzy. Good hands, hands from Izzy Petter. I think oh. Dr. Payne's had a very good game today. Definitely, yeah. She's done well. Very solid. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Slight hospital pass, but Martha's done well there. There's players all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's quite physical, isn't it? But nothing, nothing. Martin did a bit of a James Bond tuck and roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great drive. You were just saying about Eloise, yeah. yeah. Fantastic play. Uh, I reckon if you looked at her stats of outcomes from her baseline drives, they'd be really high. Getting a corner or a shot on target, if not a goal. Andy Robertson for Liverpool. <laughs> great, great right halves, left halves. I don't know the specifics of Liverpool players. Uh, Andy Robertson is an okay. absolute legend. Noted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a compliment from a Liverpool fan, at least, anyway. Mm -hmm. I think she might support Liverpool, actually. Eloise. Really? Mm. Quite a lot of our team does, unfortunately. Do you mean fortunately, sensibly as well? There's mm -mm. Jack. I don't know who Jack supports. Is he Arsenal? Jack. Waller. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I think he might be Arsenal. So it's good to see that 50% of the Waller Stenner combination <laughs> is. is I might smart. be making it up. I don't know. <laughs> What's your um, opinion on. Um, Supporting two different teams, the men's and women's squads. For football, uh, not who hockey. was so? Yeah, someone. Was, I think it I might think have been me. Erica, Erica might have been having this conversation with me. Yeah, she was listening to some podcast, and uh, Gabby Logan was talking about it with her yeah. husband or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I would definitely support Liverpool women. Mm. Um, but I guess yeah, you um, if you have a favourite player. Now, yeah. like, because of, it might be different if people are just getting into women's football, um, and so much of sort of uh, boys and girls when they're growing up with men's football, that's like you're told from an early age exactly, who to support. Yeah, but then for women, you can pick your team. Yeah, but potentially. But I mean, anyway. yeah, there are a few players that uh, definitely I I enjoy watching in the women's side, but mm -hmm. I support Liverpool women. Here we go, Serverton with the PC. To Giselle at the top, and oh, she's hit it. Straight strike under Miriam. Good clear by the. Uh, oh, that's got to be another corner. Surely another. Oh, a penalty oh. stroke. Is that for Miriam covering the ball? Is that is that stroke worthy? Yeah, I, I'm not sure if that is. It should just be another corner, not a penalty stroke. Mim saying she didn't, but yeah, I have to say she did. She was covering it quite a but lot. I don't but know if that's a stroke. No, I never thought it was that. I suppose deliberate foul. She's deliberately covered it, it the ball. It did look like a very deliberate um, move. Amy is taking the stroke for Serbton. Wow. Hammett said, again, disagreeing with passion. A lot of shaking heads. I mean, the umpire, Warburton, down this end, he did have a quite a good view looking straight at it, it whether it was through players. It's quite from our angle, but I still think a stroke is probably a bit harsh. Yeah. <laughs> Very nicely paced by Amy Costello. Yeah. Amy Costello. Miriam's absolutely fuming. Costello. That brings it to 3-1 for Serbton. Three Serbton, one Hampstead. And there's just over 14 minutes left in this third quarter. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lily, Lily going for the aerial route, maybe not her forte. The half-line Oh, aerial. Izzy Petter, but well back by Lily there. 
Esme Burge spreading the play to Iona Campbell. Liv looking to spread the play. Nice bit of possession for Hampstead. Just had a message from Sabi Hirsch saying, no way that's a stroke. She'd be fuming. Mm. As a served in player and supporter, that's saying something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I I mean, you c you can argue that is a deliberate foul. She's, if like, so but Miriam also. only if it's going to actually go in goal? No, no, it's for a deliberate foul in the penalty, in the, in the, cent in the circle. Like, you could definitely argue, obviously Miriam doesn't think she fully covered it, mm -hmm. but if the goalkeeper has fully covered the ball, she's deliberately like stopping play or people yes, getting the ball. Yes, that makes sense. So, but I always thought it was a penalty corner. Um, also, if the players as well, the, I've always thought if the players are hitting the wall into the keeper, like say it gets stuck between their legs and they're sat down mm -hmm. and the outfielders are trying to push the ball into the keeper, I always thought that was a foul against the outfielders. So it is, for the but keeper, I think yeah. It was the hand. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It? Yeah, um, just mean different situations because I've had f some recently where I've definitely felt like the, the the outfielders have been hitting the ball into me and then the umpires have given a corner. So again, it might be one of those, like the aerial rule, where it's just so open to interpretation. It is tricky, isn't it? Yeah. So Liv Hamilton with the ball. Straight to cut out by Sophie. And through to Dr. Payne. Oh, oh it made it. Yeah. Sophia Martin. Oh, One of the touch crosses by. And oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Good scrambling, but nice touches there. But I thought that might have been another goal, you know. Yeah, it was close. Can't play from Costello. Izzy Petter has been everywhere this game today. She has. Very good play. She definitely doesn't want the advantage there. But I think she had a very good performance out in Europe and it's probably boosted her confidence a little bit. Nice. A great That's ball. A, oh. Almost a very, very nice connection. Well cut out by Iona Campbell. She's carried on her run. The third highest player up the pitch. Defenders marauding forwards is always a fine sight to see. Not heard that word before. Marauding, oh, marauding. great word. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, so my f this is wildly off topic and a, <laughs> a rogue tangent, but All right. um, Fat Freddy's Drop, a New Zealand like jazz funk band. <laughs> Big fan of them. Okay. They've got a song. I think. I think the song's called "Midnight Mar Marauders." A really cool, funky tune. Have to listen to it. Yeah, get on. Maybe get we could put it in the background. Find them on Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> I saw them actually at uh, the Hammersmith Apollo last year. It was That's cool. So good. I've just noticed there's some um, Serbs and Colts doing a TikTok up on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious! <laughs> nice to see the crowds having fun. Yeah, the game's been good as well. What are they doing? Much Priorities better are all off. For, yeah, exactly. Ooh. Holly's done very well to Ooh. maintain the ball there. Yeah, I mean, the umpire should have blown. There was stick tackles from both players there, really. Oh, well, no, Holly's won the uh, sideline ball there. So you didn't ask me when I asked you, but my score prediction was going to be 3-2. Yeah, so well, you actually got <laughs> distracted by Tony Jones. He didn't even respond to mine. Um, Did you ask me? Uh, no, I, I gave you my score prediction. And then you talked about Beeston. <laughs> so I I'm said 3-2. Classic Tony distracting us. Yeah, I said 3-2. So, yeah, what's um, what would your... Uh, I was going to say 3-2 as well, but I can't have the same prediction as you. That's a bit boring. 4-2. Mm. Mm, <laughs> but... To Serbton, obviously, yeah. because it's 3-1 already. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Oh, well, well done again by Katie Curtis in that bottom corner. But cut out Phoebe Willows bouncing in. Eloise on the leg and a corner. Good hustling from Hampstead there. Serbiton not really clearing their lines and Hampstead rewarded with the corner. Be interesting to see what Hampstead do because they've had a um they've gone for the straight flick three times now. I think it's about time to change it up. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Serbiton physio doing shuttles again for the PCD. Probably better than running on for injuries. She prefer that type of action. True. Uh, Baker was confirming, I think, for clarity that they Hampstead had forgotten their PCD. Mm. So interesting, mm. given their actions in the first half of the season against EG. <laughs> Shots fired. It was talked about for weeks. <laughs> I can uh, now you've said about those t that TikTok, the couple of cults there. It's yeah, that that we've got a corner lives. going on. Come on, girls, pay attention. Here we go, Holly with the injection. <laughs> oh. Save from Amber, good clearance. Don't know if that was going oh. for direct or going for a deflection. Yeah. It's hard to tell from here. But Amber off the uh, save onto a foot there, unfortunately. I have to say, Amber's done quite well. Stepping in this late in the season. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's tough for um, like the second keeper to then maintain focus all the way to the end of the season. She was a certain goal deeper. as well. Yeah, yeah. She's been here through yeah, and through. I mean, all right, here we go again with the corner. Oh, good block again. He oh, tried great different. work from Steph. Wow. Brave play. Yeah, I mean, I even remember coaching, doing a bit of coaching with Amber <laughs> and just like very young, like. Showing my age there, really, now. She was a couple of years above me at school. Yeah. I thought she was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her and Bray. Yeah, Louise and Bray. Two good, good um, yeah, not Sophie. Um, they are cousins. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Speaking of Sophie Bray, do we know what the EG um, Reading score is? And she did well as well in the EHL, Sophie scoring yeah, that goal. Yeah, she did very well. But EG then did went, do well. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Bibber Mills as well, youngest ever EHL goalscorer. Bieber, sorry. Mm. Oh, there we go. I've ruined the Christian name. <laughs> She's come to quite a few of the Serbs in masterclasses, so. Oh, nice. I had the pleasure of coaching her. Maybe that's why she scored. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the credit. She's a good drag flicker as well. Decent. Mm. Nice pass Ooh. from Lauren Hunt to Holly Hunt. Doing a bit of a pirouette on um, Katie Kirsten's stick. It's surprisingly slippery. Oh. We're just trying to find out the um, EG Reading score. It looks like it's still 1 all in the final quarter. I'm correct in saying that they'll go to shuffles if they end in a draw, a shootout, sorry, which is shuffles, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Wow, that is oh, an incredible Oh, Steph Elliott, <laughs> hands there as well. Wow. Oh, she picked that and it stayed right on her stick. Yeah, and then w wobbled <laughs> past three players as well. That was quite something. Yeah. And Serbiton win the free hit. Big aerial from Giselle up to Eleni. Oh, oh, big bounce there. I think Liv's little... Um, Swing and a miss actually put Eleni off a little bit. Mm. Apparently we've got one all, Reading EG. EG with a stroke. Oh. Yeah. A penalty stroke, that is. Apparently Wimbledon are 2-0 up as well against... Oh, that's big for Wimbledon. ...against Bowden. These updates coming through from Sabi Hesh. Thank you very much, Sabi. Sabine. <laughs> Sabine. <laughs> yeah, it's a good nickname. <laughs> like a bean, you know, like a broad oh. bean or a bean. Star. Runner bean. Runner bean. Although there's not much running for Sabi. Sorry, <laughs> that's that's early. <laughs> Whoa. That wow. just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah. 
Sabi will be running soon, though. Yeah, she will be. She, if anyone can, she will. She's been um, in rehab every day this week, getting her, her steps in. Goalies are made of tough stuff. Mm. <laughs> oh! <gasps> yeah, corner, there we go. If the scores in the league stay as they are, I mean, EG and Wimbledon will be through to join Hampton and Serbson in the finals weekend here at Sugden Road next weekend. Let's go. Big weekend. I know somebody will be very happy about um, those results. But yeah, buy your tickets and, um, for the player finals. I'm quite excited to say, I, I, I think I'm lucky enough to be on the commentary for one of those final weekend games. So Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing for you guys. Big up Darcy Bourne commentary. This might be a new, uh, well, not yet. Obviously, you'll get back playing some Oh soon yeah. and then I think but I you've always got this to come back to yeah put, put it on it your on CV LinkedIn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should be first on your LinkedIn though. yeah probably yeah above hockey player yeah 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 makes sense save some of the corner good injection from Izzy Petter to Giselle oh good save saved Miriam saved by Mim yeah It's a great angle on that. It's gone off for a sideline, like, like 90 degrees from where she saved it. Left foot as well. Yeah. Maybe she like healed it off. <laughs> Karate kick. Speaking of heels, these shoes you're wearing. Yeah. I've never seen them before. Vivo Barefoot. Join the Barefoot Revolution. Mm, surely not. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're so comfy. Other brands are available, but Vivo are the best. Would you ever slash the only ones I've tried? Go on a real run out outdoors. <laughs> I have, I have in these shoes. Not, not, not shoes. Not these I mean barefoot. Uh, probably not barefoot. No. Okay, good. Yeah, my feet are soft. But I did go running in them once, and my soleus and Achilles and calves were ruined yeah, for I can, days. I can imagine that. But I, I was running far too gazelle-like. Um, <laughs> gazelle, not Giselle. Uh, no, not definitely not like Giselle. Um, <laughs> Giselle, like on my tiptoes, and that was it was genuinely really bad. Um, but yeah, just general walking around stuff are so good. They let your feet breathe a lot more, like spread out, really comfy. <laughs> so they're not cheap though. That is the only thing. But really? yeah, there's Revivo. Um, it's like a second hand by the way this like isn't sense. an ad we're not sponsored by Vivo no it's not yeah this is just <laughs> down to my genuine passion for barefoot shoes um, that's like my passion for Mizuno Astros Oof. oh too fair. I've so got good. some yeah they are great and the trainers and the casual shoes are nice too ah uh, yeah but also Vivo not an and Mizuno should do a collab or Mizuno and Darcy <laughs> yeah <laughs> good Please, Mizuno. skills from Sophie Hamilton up the oh. right hand side oh my goodness surely the first one there she looks a bit annoyed about that. Mm. I would be too. God, this third quarter has flown by with all this shoe chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should shoehorn some yeah. other cat chat <laughs> into this. <laughs> that is awful. Maybe that's why they've not hired you for finals weekend. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Mispronouncing names and terrible puns. Mm -hmm. Big vocabulary there. Yeah, I try. Excessive vocabulary. Yeah. Um. Big. Big. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with big. Yeah. <laughs> and ball in the D there, but cut out well by Katie Curtis. Izzy Petter with some wonderful hands again. Oh, she's gone through four players there and offloaded to Hannah French. I think that's the classic Izzy Petter little get out. Mm. So a nice little transfer around from Serbiton there. Nice ball oh, inside Is he in Eloise. acres of space here as well? You've got Martha getting up on the right-hand side. Great ball through to Sharpie. Sharpie. Yeah. Someone's got to go closer. Oh, oh, good defending there from Liv Hamilton. Two minutes left in this third quarter and Serbiton are 3-1 up against Hampstead and Westminster. Oh, well cut out. Sophie's very good at her work ethic in jumping back for tackles, but the umpires in the English league quite often call that up. Yeah, they don't like it, do they? Even though it's a nice little shave tackle. Mm -hmm. um, 
it was Rachel Greenwood with a good inception. She's played well as well, but she was very disappointed with the uh, stroke against Miriam there. Not sure. Oh no, Rachel. Joey Lee actually. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I thought I recognised her. Rachel was one of the few Northerners in my first England under 16 team. Oh, nice. Her and Crackles, Fiona Crackles. Oh, well cut out by Katie Curtis Lovely and good hands Curtis. there. Very nice. Oh, onto the foot for Hannah, unfortunately, there. Lily driving down the right, but end of Q3, it's Surbiton 3, Hampstead and Westminster 1. One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno. And girls. I've just got asked if the boys were ready. <laughs> Good old TJ. Uh, welcome back, Q4. Serpenton 3, Hampstead and Westminster 1. We have EG 2-1 as well. Not good news for Reading as it stands, but still plenty of time to play. But more importantly, Martha Taylor with the ball here to Leah Wilkinson down the left-hand side. Lily Owsley with the pressure. I'll try and talk about hockey a bit more this quarter and concentrate again. Although, Vivo, if you're listening, then, uh, yeah, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> Eloise with the ball in. Oh. Great defending there. Just stepping in front of the last minute, is you've got to stay, um, stay on your toes in the D, especially in a tight game like this. Yeah. That was good work from Cat Baker, the captain. No relation to the Boulanger on the <laughs> sideline. Boulanger. Yeah, Mr. James Baker. That's the Serbton, um, Serbton manager. Great work from Hannah French. Ooh, Ooh. an angry stick swing as well. <laughs> well won by. A bit by. of sass on the pitch, things <laughs> we love to see. Passion. GB teammates. Oh, oh. oh, oh Meg. Meg. That is Meg. Hard. The crowd got a bit angry as well. He's not actually given one yet, has he? Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh, just given her Meg. a little bit of a, a telling. Telling off, yeah. The virtual naughty step. <laughs> and we're away. Oh, nice play. Cut out, though, by Dr. Payne. Yeah, like you said, she's done very well today. Good performance. Nothing too flashy, but she's just nah. swept everything up and been really solid. Yeah, she's not that kind of player, is she? She, she mops up very well. Mm -hmm. The Wataro Endo of the Liverpool team these days, or James Milner back in the day. I now think if Brighton. I was listening to this live stream, I might tune out with all the Liverpool chat. <laughs> I should get in <laughs> touch with the Liverpool lot and get some sort of sponsorship deal. That would be cool. Yeah. 
Mm. We've got Andy Sheridan. The Sheridan's big, big part of the Surbiton family. Andy works for Liverpool Football Club, I believe. Cool. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> as in he was at the Champions League final oh, with them really and everything cool. like, yeah. Well, MD, um, Emily de France. Yes. She's gone and she's working her way up West Ham in the comms department. She's doing really well. Yeah. Amazing. She's a West Ham supporter through and through, so that's quite well, cool. Well, no, she's a Liverpool supporter. What? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's but involved. also West Ham. <laughs> oh, I really? think she sports both, yeah. But she's an Essex girl. She is, yeah. Like, I think West Ham are like the local team, but yeah, okay. the, the sensibleness side, sensible side of her supports Liverpool. Mm. <laughs> anyway, back to the hockey. Hannah French is <laughs> on the right-hand side. Got Eloise. Eloise with the overlap, yeah. Not taken. Oh, mm. and another back stick from Hannah, unfortunately. A lot of space on the left-hand side as well. I think um, a bit of high transfer or mm. against the grain passes, as people call it, could be really helpful. Yeah. Hamza looking through the middle again. Dr. Oh Payne dear. putting a lot of pressure yeah. and forcing them to pass it off the bat line. Oh, I think it's a mini Garrard on the sideline as ball, ball patrol. Where? I think you might be right. Yeah, yeah. Brett Garrard. I did see him here today. He's the he old here, um, yeah. ladies' one coach. Now he, now he's at OGs. Yeah. Mm. Oh, great ball in. Oh, Meg, unfortunate there. Martha's still got the ball under control, but Hampstead have just won it back with a double team between Liv Hamilton and Lily Owsley. Yeah, Lily with some skills in the bottom corner. Nice play from the two of them. Esme now, yeah, a great play from Hampstead there. That's a nice aerial from Liv on the move. To relieve the pressure. Good Cut interception out by Giselle. from Giselle. Oh, nice little dink through. To oh, Martha, unfortunate there. A lot of aerials today. Yeah. But like really controlled ones, used really well. Except the little the dinkers. Half line ones. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Live under pressure from Izzy. See, so Liv's very good at getting out of situations oh, like that. Good skills there. From Lauren Hunt. Lauren Hunt, yeah. Sister of Holly Hunt, younger sister. Ah, mm. every day's a learning day. I heard a rumor that um, EG went two one up. Oh, final 2-1, EG. Final score is 2-1. There we go. They'll be very happy with that. Lovely ball from Amy Costello to Sophie. Little one-two of Sophie and Leah. Sophie tried to cut inside, but was tackled by Lauren Hunt again. Robbo with a strong play, winning the free hit. Uh, yeah, more aerials, but cut out that time, not so... Great from Sarah. Oh, Pippa and Lewis a little bit again. scrappy. I don't yeah. know if people are getting tired legs and tired heads. I think so too. But Pippa Lewis as well has played very well, driving into the D there. Yeah. Oh, stick block. <laughs> Not sure about that. <laughs> That's the one rule I actually don't understand. Mm. I do, but yeah, seems harshly umpired at times. Yeah, I think if your stick is away from the ball, like oh, lovely off the see. ball and you're like shielding it, then that's it. But if you're, if the ball is on your stick and you've moved it away, mm -hmm. that can't be a stick block. That is skill to take the ball away. Exactly. It's like well, in football, nice if job. you move the ball away with your foot and someone then kicks your foot, like that's not shielding from football, is it? So. <laughs> oh, well in Giselle, strong I tackle there. I hope there are no um, spectators down there. <laughs> oh, there's a nice big fence, it's all right. Cut out by Costello. Oh, unfortunately not to make the connection with Izzy. Pippa Lewis again on the ball. Hampstead looking to restart. Everybody in the Surbiton half now, apart from Mim. Surbiton sitting off, but they can sort of afford to really, with just over 10 to go, the two goal lead. Cut out by Leah and now picked up by Sophie Hamilton. Looking to go for a little run, winning the free hit. Well done there, relieved the pressure. Sophie's got on a lot of good ball today, but I think Hamp said it might be part of their game plan to get a lot of numbers on her. Yeah, nullify her threat. Mm. Oh, Very great ball. Very nice ball. Yeah. Good play and away we go. Curtis up to Dr. Payne on Pace the right-hand side. side. Into the D. Oh, flat stick Ooh. tackle. And a free hit given against. But it could have been a short corner. Yeah. Or a stroke. You never know. 
What will it be today? Nobody knows. <laughs> oh. Running the risk a, there from Phoebe. Branch. Very calm. Joey Lee with the ball. Oh, cut out by... No, it's not back stick. Tell him. It wasn't back stick. I don't want to <laughs> shout to our poor <laughs> listeners. It's quite hard not to um, not to cheer loudly from this yeah. part of the pitch. And it's still got control of the ball, but Sarah Robertson is coming up behind rapidly. Oh, great tackle. Yeah, free hit, rightly given. Sticks got caught. There was no advantage there. Sarah does not want the ball in that bottom corner with Steph and Hannah breathing down her neck. Ooh. Really again. Oh, it's getting a bit feisty on the pitch between teams and um, among teams. Yeah, well done from Hamster there. Oh, great ball through. Can't find Sophia Hamilton. Martin, oh, but gosh. a miscommunication. Oh, unbelievable pick on the backhand well from done, Katie, Katie Kurtz there in her D, cutting out a surefire Lovely opportunity. Ball. Yeah, Steph Elliott with a big I think aerial that's one there. One of the biggest arrows I've seen her throw. Great. <gasps> right. Oh, what a ball. ball through to Izzy Petter. Round the keeper. It's a shuffle and it's yes, a goal. Yes, well done. That is lovely. Oh, from one end to the other, that started off with Katie Curtis. Great work there. And you know what? That was the classic Izzy Petter shuffle routine. Mim couldn't do anything about it there. I'm sure she's faced that a lot of times in training. But that was lovely. 4-1 Surbiton Hampstead now with just over eight to go. What did you go for? Four two. I said four two, but I'd be happy with four one. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought I thought Hampstead would have got another goal, but Surbiton have done very well defensively they since have. going behind. I think Hampstead potentially look a bit more tired than Surbiton. Potentially, yeah. Uh, it's the city bench that we've got. <laughs> <laughs> well done again by Izzy. She wants a corner. Oh, Sarah Vincent. Oh. A terrible decision from the umpire there. <laughs> but thank you very much for our umpires today. Yeah, always. <laughs> always. Game doesn't work without them. <laughs> Probably fair, yeah, with that aerial. Hampstead with a rare foray down the left-hand side, but cut out by Giselle. A lot of 3D skills in today's game, which is um, nice for the attackers, but as soon as people get a touch on it, you never really know where it's going. Mm. But we've got some very skillful players on both sides here, and the pitch does allow it, doesn't it? It does, Nice absolutely. bounce pitch. That's a monstrous aerial. What a trap from Meg. But Meg her feet were off the ground, apparently. Off the pitch. That would be impressive. Not off the ground. Trapping if it off the if ground. If they were off the ground, then it would be fine, right? Yeah, good point. Like mm -hmm. uh, like cricket. Yes. But surely, I thought you could be off the pitch and trap it, though, as long as the ball was still in play. No, not. Oh. You make a good point, actually. Yeah, like like in cricket. But obviously, if, if your feet are off. Yeah, if the ball's still on and your feet are off. But if the ball's in the air and your feet are off, then... Yeah, then it's this potentially over the line as well. Mm. Here we go. Lily driving down the right-hand side. Long corner. Six and a half minutes left in this game. I think Hampstead will be looking to get another goal and Serbton will be looking to sustain this lead that they've got. Yeah, and the TikToks have stopped. <laughs> if you've only joined the second half, we weren't doing the TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Serbton fans doing Goodness TikToks. Goodness, no. <laughs> well, cut out by Costello. Sharpie on a run. Costello. <laughs> yeah. I, say, I thought I said Costello. I thought you said Costello. <laughs> <laughs> Of your turn, calm from Sarah Vince, slow it down there. Curtis. Curtis is definitely Ball a player. Throw. Once she um, gets the momentum of the game, she is an oh. outstanding player. Unfortunately, behind Steph Elliott there. Oh. Hamilton pressure on Hamilton. But Liv Hamilton won that one. She did. 
But Martha Taylor now back with the ball with some more 3D skills into the D. Oh, that's lovely. Hockey. Touch oh. from Iona Campbell for the long corner. Oh, Evans inviting Stenner and now she's taking it on down the right hand side. Well cut out again by Campbell. Is Iona Campbell Scottish by any chance? No, she is Dutch. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Wildly wrong. Mm -hmm. All I've got is uh, Iona <laughs> in my head. <laughs> but I don't know which of her parents are Dutch. Maybe she has some Scot Scottish in her as well. Maybe. Oof. Wow. Firm from Costello. She's definitely a Scottish one. Ear me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but That's awful. against Hamza there. And um, Sarah Robertson, another Scottish player on the pitch today. Yeah. Two Scottish internationals. Oh, I said I'd try and get my Andy Murray out at some point. You did? Yeah, today Brendan Creed. Yeah, Brendan sent me a video of Andy. There were some <laughs> really funny Instagram videos of recently with the ATP where they were making out that all of the tennis players were just actors. Okay. Yeah, it was, there was some good videos. And Andy was doing some incredible acting. So we've got four her. minutes left. Are you going to give the listeners the... Um, the pleasure of your impression I, well, I was genuinely debating about it when um last well two weeks ago when you weren't here <laughs> with my introduction to be like thanks for joining us all the way from miami andy <laughs> like, hello mark it's great to be here and thanks for having me uh, on this lovely day at sugden road with surbiton versus hampstead and westminster i'm ecstatic to be here <laughs> Um, it was a great time doing the spelling test with you and your uh, year three children during lockdown. I believe the videos are somewhere on social media, but I apologize for not replying at the time. Anyway, back to the hockey. Wow, what a pleasure having Andy here. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected appearance. Yeah, I, I hope My he comes eyes back. Are me. <laughs> I hope he comes back. So that ankle injury looks horrendous. Oh, that was a lovely touch. Yeah, well kept in by Lily. Ooh, oh dear. Never fired, but she was trying to get away. She was. Fortunately, Lily Alves is quite quick. <laughs> yeah. Here we go again. Hampstead with a few more opportunities to get to add another goal. Oh, my word. That's terrifying. Lifted ball into the deep. Cut out calmly by Costello again. So many, so much alliteration there. <laughs> it's too easy. Yeah. It's always with Amy as well. I never seem to get as good alliteration with maybe the effervescent Evans there. But <laughs> again, blown up against her into the D. Oh! oh. It's a swing and a miss from Lauren Hunt. Uh, Maybe not a miss. I think Curtis actually just made a really good interception. I think no. big swing, no ding. <laughs> but Hampstead with the ball. The final two minutes. Oh, unfortunately, on the foot for Lily there. So I guess as they do in football in the final two minutes of the game, who would you say is your, your player of the match today? Yeah, it's a good question. I have asked Sabi Sabi Hash for her opinion, but it's not slow. Uh, I'd probably go with Izzy. Yeah, she's on the ball now. Izzy Patton. Oh, she's just giving it away there, but ha well won back by Hannah. Doctor Payne has been very good as well, she but has. Izzy has been all over the pit. I, as I'm saying this, she's given the ball away and then mistrapped <laughs> it now, but <laughs> she scored at least one, hasn't she? And she has. she's been all over the place uh, today. So she's definitely had some very um, some very good opportunities up front. Yeah. But lots of pressure jumping back as well. I also think maybe a moment of the match is um, Steph Elliott's. Oh, um, enormous aerial, yeah. No, not even the aerial, the, the save oh. on the line. Oh, yeah, true. That was quite something. Aerial was also great. Yeah. Who would your player of the match be? Um, oh, I don't know. I've had quite a few good players today. Yeah. I think I think Dr. Payne might be there. Just been really solid keeping the team together. Oh, dear. Oh, well won back, Sarah. Um, mentions Sabi to Hesh, sorry has just oh put yeah. in her votes and she also said Petter for the great finish or Dr. Payne oh cool ah, I see great minds think alike yeah full seldom differ to finish that saying but we'll go with the great minds um, special mention to Holly Hunt though 
Sophia Martin's been was very good in the first half, and um, who was I going to say? I literally just uh, Pippa Lewis as well. She's yeah, been very good. Mm -hmm. For Hampstead. Um, oh, it's windy. Yeah. This will probably be the one of the last opportunities of the game. Yeah, hopefully Surbiton extend their lead. Hopefully one of the last times. Oh, and there is the final whistle. But everybody up. Curtis is joining. Eloise. Stanner from all the way in her own D. But not Amber. No, as we know, <laughs> can't go past 23 or 25. I'm not going to go on the meter <laughs> rule. We like yardage. So, final player of the game. Oh, oh, off the post. What? I saw that went Evans in. Evans with the ball. Oh, clobber. Oh, I thought that went Final in. Final whistle. No. That's so yeah, Miriam thanking the post. <laughs> well played all. That was a great game. Uh, lots of opportunity for both teams. Lots of skills on show. Final score, Surbiton 4, Hampstead 1. Hampstead taking the lead through Holly Hunt. Hannah French equalising. Giselle extending the lead to 2-1 with Cosolo making it 3-1. And then Izzy Petter rounding Miriam Pritchard to make it 4-1. Uh, thanks for joining us in the bright sunshine here in Sugden Road. Join us again next week for the playoffs and have a great rest of the weekend. We also have the men's game at 6pm if you want to join us for that as well. But thanks again, Darcy. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be back. And we'll see you soon. Thanks.